Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. The goal for today, by the end of the day, is to get this car pretty much complete again. We got a few tasks. Obviously number one is to get the rear bumper back on it, or the new rear bumper on I should say. Number two, we're gonna be putting the other wheels back on it. We pretty much built the whole car to flow together and the red on the TEs just does not match any of the blue that we have going on. So I love the wheel. I just think the 57 extremes, those boys right there look a lot better. We'll do that later on. Let's deal with the bumper for now. So we got to pull this bumper off of the blue Evo 8. There's some little metal brackets that sit on there. So we're going to pull those off of the USDM bumper, get them onto the new JDM bumper, and then we can get that JDM bumper mounted up on this car. I'm really stoked, excited, but also very nervous to see how the color is going to match. It looks like it's going to match pretty good though. I think we should be good. All right, so we got the bumper off. This whole reinforcement right here, this metal bar that runs from here, and it literally goes along the whole bumper. It's got these little studs on it. All the way to that side, I'm pretty sure that whole thing's gotta pop off, and we're gonna put that on to the new bumper. This fiberglass bumper doesn't use any of that stuff. Before we assemble the new OEM bumper, I'm gonna throw the old rep bumper on the car and see how far off that exhaust is. I know the exhaust is different US to JDM, so I just wanna see how bad it's gonna be. I had a slight suspicion that this was JDM exhaust on the car. When this USDM bumper was on here, that exhaust stuck in so freaking far, and it looks like it actually fits the JDM bumper way better. Do you guys not agree? Pretty sure this is meant for a JDM bumper, this exhaust, which is a HKS high power. I do think I'm gonna get rid of this exhaust either way. I wish this car was a little bit louder. It's not very loud compared to like the Black 8 or the Evo 10. It's super, super freaking quiet. All right, we're gonna be all done messing with this car. Let's pop off this bracket and get it on to the new one. We gotta drill out all these rivets. Looks like there's quite a bit of them. So let's get all those drilled out and we can get that bracket swapped out. So it looks like everything with this reinforcement is gonna fit fine, except for this license plate bracket. So we're gonna have to pop that off. We're just gonna drill out these two rivets right there. And then pretty much all this wiring has to come off being that the JDM bumper does not have the side markers on the rear bumper, thankfully, because they're they're uh, not very good looking. So we don't need the wiring for that, but we do need the wiring for the license plate, of course. So we're gonna have to do some trimming there, but let's get that popped off and we can get this riveted onto the new bumper. We got the entire reinforcement on. All we have to figure out now is the license plate mount and we can get this bumper mounted up. So all we're gonna do is trim these brackets that are hanging down through the bumper. We're gonna trim them to probably right about there, bend them up, and then we're just gonna rivet this guy right onto those and we'll have our license plate bracket. Well, I kind of messed this whole thing up, guys. I trimmed way too much off there and I kind of bent them the wrong way. We could bend them back, but now there's not enough material on there. So this is how the license plate bracket needs to sit. And these brackets coming off the little reinforcement needed to be bent down and connect right back down here. But I think it's still gonna work fine. I'm just gonna completely take those brackets off and this thing's gonna be bolted right to the bumper 
using those two holes right there. And I think that should work just fine. If it doesn't, we'll have to weld on some new brackets onto this piece here, but I think this will work. We just got the bumper installed, fits really nice. I pulled out the flashlight to do a little color comparison. This is what I was most worried about. And I know the body of the car is super dusty right now and the bumper still needs some sanding and whatnot, but I think that color is about as close as it's gonna get. That looks good. I can dig it. Bumpers on, rear wheels are on. We still gotta swap out the front wheels, but what I wanna do right now is take care of this nasty, come on focus, this fatty nasty run on the bumper. <laughs> I've never seen a run so bad in my life. It goes all the way down there. I don't know how you do that, but I do it and it's pretty sick. So I'm gonna use some thousand grit on the mixing stick get that fatty completely sanded out and hopefully we don't burn through the clear which i don't think we will because it looks like there's a lot on there Just like that boys, no more run, no more drool in the paint. We did a little bit of orange peel correction as well with some good old 1500 grit. I'm gonna keep working my way around the bumper, find any other little pieces of dirt that we have to nip out, fix some of the orange peel, and we can get this thing polished up. We got the entire bumper sanded down. All of the runs are out, all of the dirt is out, and she's very nice and flat, ready for a polish. I'm gonna hold off on polishing the bumper because when we were doing the wing yesterday, these pads, I feel like we're doing more harm than good. These things are shit. So we're gonna be driving around for a couple days until Amazon decides to you know, deliver my new pads. But we're gonna throw on the gram lights on the front, throw on the tail lights, pull this thing out of the shop. I think we're actually gonna be driving her today, which is sick. I'm pumped for that. Bobby's here and she wants me to fix her rod knock on her STI. That's called a rod knock? Yeah, you got a rod knock. No, I don't. What is it then? Piston slot? And it's just a misfire. Am I right? Sexy little tank. What the hell is wrong with you? Anything else you want to say? My car is pretty sexy. Okay. Sexiest thing I've ever seen in my life. I know, that's why you...
that paint shines so freaking much. That's incredible, wow. All right, we're gonna go for a quick cruise around the block in Bobby's car. Let me show you guys what it's doing. It's a little rattly. She had a rod knock. Not a rod knock. Bobby's scared, I can see it in her eyes. I'm really, really surprised the check engine light hasn't came on yet. But Bobby said it did flash once, right? Check engine light flashed a time yeah. or two. It just did twice. Just twice. I understand. I'm betting money on it being plugs, but it could be coil packs as well, or like injectors. It could be a, quite a few different things. Hopefully it's nothing major, because I don't want to do anything major to that car right now. There's no need to put it on the lift, but I'm going to anyway, just for fun. So let's pull out Bluey from the lift section and get the STI up in there. Well, apparently I never explained what was actually going on. It's not a rod knock. It's just having some sort of misfire under boost. All right, so we have the car up in the lift right now. We are just doing some other checking on her. The easiest way to change plugs for me on a Subaru, as to what I've noticed, <laughs> trying to get all technical up in here. <laughs> Follow me. This right here is a motor mount, okay? So we're gonna do one side at a time. We're gonna loosen that motor mount. We're gonna lower the car down, and then we're gonna actually jack up the motor on this side, swap out the plugs, lower the motor back down, put this nut back on, and then do the other side. Gives you so much more space. So much more space. Hmm. What? We didn't do that on my Forster. Well, your Forster's a piece of crap. We probably just dented it instead. Oh. So for the driver's side, we're gonna pull off the air box. Passenger side, just the battery, and that's it. Can I pull it off? Yeah. Can you give me the utensils that I need? The plugs that we're pulling out of this thing are not in the best condition ever. You see this tip right here? You can tell it's a little like burnt off. A little bit crunchy looking. I think it's safe to say that this should probably help it run a little bit better. I wonder how long it's been running like shit for. Cause I mean, you know. Also check out the plug gap difference. That's the older one. It's completely gone. The electrode on the older ones completely burned off. I don't even know how this thing ran. Those things are crunchy. So the factory plug gap on a STI should be 0.028, which these ones are properly gapped, the new ones. The gap on these, because that electrode is burnt off, you ready for this? Mm -hmm. 0.060. It's more than double of what it should be. <laughs> Imagine if we slapped a fatty turbo on here and tried to make power. Oh my god. She wouldn't be having it. All right, let's get these new ones in. This is gonna fix your problem, guaranteed. Kay. Yay. As long as your motor's healthy. You see this white part right here? You see how that one's completely broken oh, off? Yeah. I understand. No, that's not good. I know. The fuck? I've never seen plugs this bad, especially a freaking brand new car. I don't know. Me neither. It's a, it's a stock car, stock tune, stock everything. The only thing it has is a cat back. Are Subaru tunes really this shitty? They just burn plugs like this? What the fuck? This is in, this either went, hopefully this went out your exhaust. Thankfully it's not metal, so it can like. Disintegrate. The, either way, I don't like that. So, if this thing blows up within the next 500 miles, we'll know why. And then we make her built. I don't want to blow it up like this. I already said, I want to send a fucking rod through the block, all right? After looking at these plugs, I feel like this thing's kind of a, it's just a, a guessing game now of how long she's going to last. I guess we'll see. To make it last a little bit longer, we are going to give this car a gift. Because if you give car, cars are just like humans. If you give them a gift, they treat you better. So we're going to put the TE37s on Bobby's car. And I think that's going to make the motor last a little bit longer because she'll be happy. That's exactly it. You treat a car good and they treat you good. It's just like a female. Oh, I understand. What the frick is this stupid cover go on? Wow, Mechanic Bob is at work today. Gotta put that guy on. The only thing is, I don't know if the TEs are going to clear the brakes on here because the brakes on this car are quite a bit bigger than the Evo 8. So I guess we'll see. We do have like five mil spacers here if, if need be. Okay, she's all back together. We're going to pop off a wheel real quick and slap on a TE. If they clear, Bobby's going to run them. And if she curbs them, she gives me the car. Good thing I don't curb wheels. Ha! I've curbed literally like... Four, five. I've curbed two wheels in my life. That was on my Genesis. So... 
It's gonna be all good. Those are some big breaks though. I don't feel like it's gonna clear. Oh, easy. Oh my god, those look so good. Holy ball sack. That looks so good. Brother. Brother! The tees on the STI look so good. Them on here flow way better than they do on the Evo. Guys, look at this. They clear so much. Honor is like so close on the Evo. There's a ton of space back here on, on these guys. Damn, these look good. I. I've never really even been a fan of these wheels, but now that they're on her, I kind of like it. So you're trying to steal them, I see. And the red actually like flows because you got red there. You're going to do red brakes. Yeah. We're going to do rancher red. I wish they're already red. Brother. Those are amazing looking. Those flow hard. <laughs> Damn. No. Yes. I'm stealing from you. All right, boys. Let's do this. We're going to pull her out. Pull out. <laughs> we're going to go on a test drive. Make sure she's running good. Obviously, she will. And we're going to go, you know, make sure she looks good. There's no way this car is is gonna blow up now because these wheels look so good. It's the best gift she could ever ask for. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. There's no way. I want to look from a distance. Oh my god, those are so pretty. Remember a while ago I said I didn't I didn't really like TEs, you know? Yeah. Unless they're on the right car. <laughs> These wheels fit this car so good. And I don't know why. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm like mad that they look way better on here than the Evo. Yeah. So the car is still cutting out under boost. If you put the car in intelligent mode, it's fine. But anything like, what's it called? Sport or sport sharp, right? Sport or sport sharp, it'll cut out under boost. If this was like one of the built Evos, I would close up the plug gap a little bit, but these are gapped at 0.028, which is factory for the Iridium plugs for the STI. And I feel like closing the gap up would, it would fix the issue, but I feel like there's something else going on because the spark is being blown out under boost is my theory, which would make sense, but completely stock car, stock tune, stock everything, stock plugs, stock plug gaps. It should not be misfiring under boost. So I'm just kind of going through right now, cleaning the math and checking some other things as well, but everything seems normal, so I don't know what's going on. We're just gonna let her be for now. Don't be on her too much. I won't. I'm probably just gonna close up the plug gap just a little bit. Go to like 025, and I know it fixed the issue. I'm just trying to figure out, like the thing that keeps like being in the back of my head is what happened with these plugs? Why are these so destroyed? Because the car is not running lean. AFRs are fine. Under wide open throttle, it's like 11.0. I'll probably dig into it a little bit more tomorrow if I can come up with some time, but for now, Bobby's gonna leave it in an intelligent mode. She's not gonna beat on it because if she blows it up, then the T's were worthless. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go cruise. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go jump in the Evo, the black Evo, and drive that damn thing. <laughs> I know we're gonna get to the bottom of the STI issue fairly soon, but drop a comment down below anyway and take a wild guess, take a wild stab at what you think the problem is. Some of you guys are gonna guess that right. I don't know what the problem is as of right now, but we'll figure it out. I'm just freaking excited to drive the, the black Evo finally. We put in like, what, two weeks worth of work on that car. Haven't touched it, haven't driven it. I wish the weather was nicer so it wouldn't get all dirty, but it's all good because we're gonna go enjoy this thing along with Bobby. Rocking the new TEs.
looks so good. No way. I did not think that the T's would look that good on the SCI, but they look amazing on that car. And I've said it a thousand times, but I'll say it again. They're beautiful. So we went on a little road trip last time, or the other day with the FRS. Today it's the Evo's turn, and this isn't quite as far, but it's still a little road trip, an hour, hour-ish drive. Yes. Girl. But damn, she looks good. 